And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some budget burn aggro. All right, so I know this burn aggro is not for everybody. I know a lot of people, it's a controversial deck. I know a lot of people don't like the deck, but there's other people that are uh, just starting out and um, you know don't have a lot of resources on their account and they're trying to put together the best budget deck they can. And this is really the, the deck that I recommend. This is the best budget deck. There's no champions. There's no epics either, and there are 10 total rares in here. Um, so we got you have 30, 30 commons and 10 rares. So this is about as easy it is to put together. And it's really, really strong. I'm sure if you've been playing at all, like on the, the ranked ladder, I'm sure you've been running into this kind of deck. Basically, there's, there's 12 cards that you definitely want to play three of, like all of the threes except for... Um, there's Transfusion and Static Shock. Those are like your last four slots. The other 36 cards are just auto three of, um, you know, just across the board, in my opinion. Um, some people play Noxion Fervor, but I don't understand that at all. Noxion Fervor is way too good to only be playing two. Um, yeah, this card's just awesome. Like, it's, you know, get excited. You have to discard one to be able to deal three to anything. At Noxion Fervor, you just have to do three to an ally unit to be able to do three to anything. And there's so many times you'd rather do three to your ally unit than discard a card. Um, that like These are, like, basically very comparable cards in my eyes. Like, you know, people don't just play two Get Excited. I don't think you should ever play two Noxion Fervors either. I think they're both awesome. And, you know, it being able to protect against, like, Grasp the Undying is huge. That's that's really important. Um, but uh, let's see. So, yeah, we have... Um, I'm going with the three Transfusions, one Static Shock. Static Shock is a rare, so it's, it is a little bit more difficult to, to get. But it's a card you don't really want to draw a bunch of. Like, drawing one Static Shock, it, it can be really powerful in different scenarios. And we actually saw that with the Winter Karma deck um this are we had a we played against this deck and they had a great static shock but it's not really a card you want to draw multiples so we just have the one transfusions in here to be uh protection against removal be a combat trick that can uh, get extra damage in and it's a card just overall that pairs perfectly with crimson disciple all right but let's let's uh play some games let's get right to it budget burn aggro Usually I like playing, you know, I like playing, uh, the non-budget version of this deck that I like is taking out Transfusion and Static Shock and putting in three Dravens and one Ezreal. And, um, uh, that's the, the Draven easy aggro. And I guess I'll, I'll link that on, um, in the YouTube, uh, um, description. I'll put a link to that, that version if you want to see me play the non-budget version and talk about why I play an Ezreal in there. Okay, so we're playing the mirror. We're getting rid of the salesman in the mirror. They'll do two damage to both of us. I actually like Static Shock in the mirror. I think we get rid of the get excited though too. We'll keep the rear guard and the static shock. Let's see what else we get. I have my so saboteur trades with ev every one mana card, but we should be able to get a point of damage in also. Where if I play rear guard and attack, they play precious pet block, we get no damage in. And if they don't block, that's okay. That makes my Static Shock better. Alright, so for those of y'all in chat, there's the link to the YouTube of the non-budget version. So 
We're just up a point right now. Looks like they're about to be up a point. I think they kind of think they get they have this one. Definitely learned that it it was pretty silly to keep the static shock. Certainly looks silly to keep that static shock. Yeah, we're playing the burn deck new look. Like, like I said, uh, there's you know, there's different you know, there's there's people that want a a real real good quality budget deck and everything, and um, want to show them something they could play. We did get, quote unquote, rewarded with a mirror match right away. All right, hoping they don't have another transfusion. Hoping this works. Okay. Had a battle of attrition. What do I think of the matchup against of this deck against the Bannerman mid-range deck? It's it's definitely close. Like that's that's a pretty close matchup. I think the burn deck's a little a little ahead though. I think it's a little favored, but not by a lot. Um, but it is a pretty close matchup. So I don't want to play the Salesman, which will do two damage to me. I think I'm going to keep the Salesman to discard to the Get Excited. Using three spells there to get rid of two of theirs. Damn it. Bad trade. And now we are down to one card in there at two.
It's like the best use of the salesman is to block the thing, you know, the rear guard that can't block. And, uh, yeah, that, that's a great use of the, the used cask salesman. So that was a great turn for them. GG's. I don't I don't know what the deck's worst matchup is. I I I'm not convinced Karina you know, I don't not I'm not convinced Karina control is favored against Burn. Basically I don't I'm not really convinced that anything's favored against Burn, basically. I haven't found a deck that I'm, like, definitely convert. Like, I think that the Karma Thresh deck that I that I built, that I played a few days ago, I think that is probably a favorite against Burn, but it's not, you know, not, like, a ton. The thing is, is, like, when Karina Control beats Burn, Karina Control wins by, like, a ton. You know, like, they're, um, you know, like, all the life gain spells and everything in it, and the games go longer, and, and it, it makes it seem like the game is or like the deck is um you know really favored because like just the amount of time that Karina control is winning compared to like a game that the burn wins the amount of time that the burn wins you're like oh man they just squeaked through and that kind of stuff Yeah, so Burn doesn't win 100% or anything, but it is really strong and consistent. And I'm not sure if there's anything that... Honestly, I'm not sure if there's anything that really beats it more than 50% of the time. Like, any of the highly played decks. All right, so very good start for the opponent. We'll see how long they can keep that up. Transfusion doing its job. Keeping the boom crew alive. These old eyes still see far so like for example, my opponent hasn't played any card that costs more than two mana. Like they've they're right there with, with us. You have to imagine this is kind of a you know, what they would hope to have for a curve. They're still taking a lot of damage. You. Let's make a deal. And 
and then uh, you. For the Empire. you. All right, they're down to six. Kind of shows how good this burn deck is. Like, and this is really budget. Like I said, 30, 30 commons, ten rares. That's all you need. But, you know, from hapless aristocrat on turn two to you know two drop, two drop. Uh, turn four, withering whale. I <laughs> can. Kind of exactly what they could possibly hope for for the first four turns. I'll get rid of the salesman. I could regret that. Being good blockers. I could regret getting rid of that salesman. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Okay, cool. We got we got a salesman back. So that's good. Darn, they got. Speaking of one drops, they got one. I thought I was. I thought I was gonna be starting off seventeen. That first turn. Have to be careful of make it rain. As far as if I would play the two precious pets, like the the precious pets are unblockable. But I do have to be careful to make a rain. So now I have like this extra 3 2 that gets in the way. Hmm. Probably should just go straight to attacks and have the Noxion Fervor available. I want to like play the Precious Pet. They do something. I Mystic Shot their 2 2. Attack in. I think I go face. Maybe I should be. Oh, they stole my transfusion. Dang, Grizzled Ranger is amazing. Alright, yeah, y'all are right. I should have gone face. Y'all are right.
Awesome, Kodoroks. Glad, glad you're liking the Sea Monsters control deck. Awesome. And hey, Sephora. Thanks for coming on over here from YouTube. Thanks for joining. Dang, this, this Grizzled Ranger is just incredible. Do I possibly Noxion Fervor and kill the Grizzled Ranger so I get to attack with Boom Kuroki again? I mean, that's I guess that's trading 3 damage for 2, so I guess that answer is no. Yeah, y'all were right. I made a rookie boom burn mistake. Should not have done that first knock, that first noxion fervor to the twisted fate. Should have done it to them. Looks like we're about to be 0 and 2. Oh wait, we won that last one. 1 and 2. I'm gonna draw one card that does 6 damage. See, if I would have dealt the 3 damage up there, then I would be looking at having Noxion Fervor could could be a win. Okay. Because basically, if we would have... If they would be at... Th like, basically, they would be at... Uh, I wouldn't attack with my 3-1. I would attack with the other thing. But I wouldn't attack with the 3-1, and then they would have been at 5. And then I'd be able to Noxion Fervor kill my 3-1 and, and kill them. So it would have had an out if I would have dealt the 3 damage to them instead of... This was the fate. But that is how people can beat you if they have, you know, they they were able they were able to match me, you know, mana for mana in the early game. They had multiple one drops and two drops and all that kind of stuff also. Yep. Got to go Nexus Nexus damage over board control. Definitely. And I, I think I did regret mulliganing the used cask salesman. Even though we drew another. I think that's a card that I just wanted more of. Every opponent has matched us one drop. One drop for one drop so far. I know what lurks in the shadow. Dang. They got the 3-4 Elise. to a 3-4 Elise. Turn one Omen Hawk, your very top card is Elise. Turn two Elise. That is an epic play. I was hoping they were going to block, of course, because of the static shocks. But they did. Also an Elise. 
Well then, that's how we're gonna play. Good one. The dish, aren't you? Don't mind me. Look out for reefers. I hope this works. I thought they were gonna block with the hapless aristocrat and get another spiderling to be able to flip a lease. I feel like I would have done, but they may have like more spiderlings in hand. Yeah, they they have just had it all. <laughs> Definitely. Um, man, I want to use my mana and cast one of these things, but I feel like it's a trap. Like I use my mana, then they then they play like some spiders and flip a lease. Or they like use removal or something like that. Next turn, I'll have, uh, let's see, six, nine, so we'd have nine mana. We'd be able to do, like, Static Shock and Fervor and Transfusion. I don't know. I feel like this is a trap. But I'm going to use the mana. It was a trap. I knew it. Didn't have, didn't keep Noxian Fervor up. Knew I should have passed. Our opponents are not making this easy. Oh, that doesn't actually block. Right, because the burst speed it doesn't actually count as blocking. My true Shouldn't have cast that decimate. That's probably going to cost me this. That extra three life. If I would have kept them from gaining that three life, I would have won. So I just couldn't top out of the Noxian Fervor range. Well, we top decked a good one. I must get out of here. Basically, I wanted... Yeah, the reason why I did like that other, that other play is I wanted to keep Crimson Disciple alive in case we drew another Transfusion or in case we drew Demolitionist. I wanted to draw it. I wanted to keep the the Crimson Disciple alive. And 
No. They go down to one. So close. All right, well, I, I... My instincts, I knew that they had that trick. Or, you know, like, they... I knew they were, like, how they just, like, pass like that. Um, they wanted me to spend my mana. And I shouldn't have. That was the difference. So, lesson learned against, like, the, the Shadow Isles deck. Keep your Noxion Fervor mana up. Don't just tap out to tap out. So, lesson learned here. But, man, talk about our last two opponents having everything. You know, like, that's... That's gonna happen sometimes, but... You know, start in turn one. They have it all. But that's that's kind of, like, what you have to have to, eat, to beat Burn Aggro, and it's still so close. Like, they... Like, these hands that our opponents have had have been ridiculous, and we've been getting them... You know, three or less life. <laughs> every game. And yeah, like, they've been playing perfectly and had had everything. And they're still down to, like, three or less life, so... You know, people may look at this and be like, Oh, no, this budget deck is one and three, but... For our opponents to have... With all the stuff that they've had, they've, they've had to have everything. This deck is really good. Kind of want to keep a fervor, so we're playing another burn mirror. Unfortunately, do we want to keep fervor? Yeah, I'll ship it, but I kind of feel like I'm supposed to keep one of them. Hey, Shafley. Yeah, I like the Endure deck in the, the current metagame. As, you know, like... Because the metagame's kind of all about... Um... Hmm. Yeah, they are definitely way ahead now. The metagame's kind of kind of all about burn and anti-burn control decks, and the endure undying feels like it probably does, or just just the endure deck probably does really well against the anti-burn control decks. Would be my assumption. Okay, so I definitely should have played the salesman this turn. By the way. I was just kind of talking, and I don't know why in my head I thought I was going to be able to double spell with that and Transfusion. I definitely should have played the Salesman to block the Disciple. I thought I was going to have Transfusion block Disciple. But that's not the case. Eleven, eleven. I have my orders. No, 
not in the worst of spots. Timo is giving us those puff caps. First one's free. But not doubling the puff caps. We still just, just only have the 15. Huh. All right, so I go down to six, five, four, three. Darn it. Guess I have to Mystic Shot that thing, don't I? So I'm at three, they're at seven. I do this. They're at five. This puts them down to two, this puts them down to one. Ugh. I have to. Cause if I'm at three, they and they, you know, just get excited me right away, I'm dead. And I, I don't have enough to respond, kind of thing. I need to do this so they have to do five points to me so I get to play my decimate. I can't. Basically, there's just such a big difference of being at five and being at three, because now I get to play that. Now I'm in control with the Noxion Fervor. GG's. So we went one and one in the burn mirror. All right, so there we go. So that's budget burn aggro. Definitely the uh, best budget deck around. Yes, we went two and three, but uh, we, we did play against two opponents that we got down underneath five, um, and they had incredible hands for their deck like for their decks like they had like top five percent of hands that they could possibly you know that they would have <clears throat> and we'd still got them down <laughs> really really low but yeah like so basically those y'all that um are just kind of starting out you know new players that kind of stuff um and the thing is is your strategy is the same against everybody so that's also a good deck for new players in uh in that respect as well um, I mean, it is budget. So there's there's 30 commons and there's 10 rares in this deck. There's no no epics, no champions. Um, as far as like what I would do for to non-budget the deck, basically all I would do is I would take out Transfusion and I would take out Static Shock and I would put in one Ezreal and three Dravens. I do, do really like Draven in this kind of deck. And Transfusion is better than Ezreal. And so that's weird that I would take out Transfusion and put in Ezreal, because Transfusion actually is better. But it's not better by that much, and playing one Ezreal will throw off some opponents. It won't, it won't, it will make your aggro mirror match a little bit worse, because it doesn't change what they do. But it may change what a lot of control decks do to you, and a lot of removal heavy decks. A lot of people will see Draven and Ezreal and think the Draven Ezreal uh, control deck from before and Mulligan differently. And so even though I'm I'm advocating for playing a worse card with Ezreal over Transfusion, I think it the the percentage points that like your 40th card is a little worse um, for your deck. 
and because it's not always worse all the time like there's going to be some game like there there could be games like the opponent has a lot of removal for other things and ezreal just gets to hit like they have like creatures on the ground ezreal like hits them like with elusive and then creates mystic shots and does a lot of damage so it's not even worse all the time there's gonna be some times where it ezreal can just like win games for you but overall it's probably a li slightly worse but i think that the the slight the percentage that like your 40th card is slightly worse compared to the percentage points that you will gain from people making wrong mulligan decisions sometimes they won't always but sometimes they'll make wrong mulligan decisions and you'll gain a lot more percentage points there than one one card in your deck being a little worse so that's that's what i would recommend to doing to make this deck um to to go non-budget if those of y'all they like the deck or looking to upgrade um not not many other people are really doing that but i'll also link the video that i that i play with this version that i, I call it uh draven easy aggro it's, it's, it's playing aggro on easy mode whenever your opponents mulligan incorrectly all right there we go that's the budget deck that's budget burn uh also y'all on youtube hit that like button over there feel free to leave those comments um, but I, I do kind of with also with this being said, I do kind of expect, I don't know when the next time they're going to do a patch, but I do kind of expect them to, um, nerf this deck a little bit. Maybe it's boom crew rookie turning into a one, three, maybe it's crimson disciple turning into a two, two. Um, I could, I could see this deck, maybe grenadier turns into a two, one. I could see just like some small changes to some of these cards happening in the next, uh, patch as well <clears throat> i could see doing that uh sage mister says that they would recommend playing one transfusion over the third decimate i could definitely see doing that too all right but there we go so that's that's budget burn aggro um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video